right hit. hit. It's not yeah. two. It goes hard. Right. Yes. damage. Yes. Go for it. Alright. Well, everyone, this is Jaxus. And Tomcat. Here to commentate the last match of Swiss. Uh, Ninetales going Char- not Rosalina, but Samus, versus Chari going his namesake Charizard. Yeah. It's like the first games here on Town and City. Interesting choice. I'm, I'm not sure who is up better, because I don't actually know Samus' kill moves very well. Uh, I don't and know. I think Charizard just kind of kills wherever he wants. <laughs> Same thing if Samus has uh, some of her moves. I just don't know about up. All I know her up air is still good. Mm-hmm. Not uh, stupid, but good. I think that Samus, uh, if he has Apex Screw Rush, will be killing up very well. Yeah. But I don't know what his testings are. Yeah. But this is, it's not quite Samus' de- debut in our tournament, but he's, I know that Ninetales has been working on picking up Samus, but didn't he he's say, also a secondary. Didn't he say like a few weeks ago that he was just going to go for a tournament and just Samus? Yeah, he was going to, and then a bunch of out-of-town people showed up, and he's like, I can't risk this. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he'd also been getting kind of bopped with it in front ways. But at the moment, it looks like it's pretty even. I do feel like Charizard's kill has come earlier percent-wise than Samus does. Uh, However, Charge Shot is as strong as ever, if not even stronger. I got headshot. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, 23% from that one move. Yeah, it's just Samus' Charge Shot is just, when fully charged, a pretty stupid projectile. It's really good. You just have to charge it. And unfortunately for Samus, it's like really the only thing that you need to be like, oh boy, watch out for this move. Yeah. Like the rest of her kit is interesting and mix up based, but that's the one where you're like, you have to be scared of this. Yeah. That also in doubles, Game and Watch and Samus isn't entirely a bad team because uh, fully charged Shark Shot will actually fill the level of three with a good kill potential. Alright. Like it'll kill a low percentage, like I believe. Nice. Somewhere around 30, maybe. Like, all I know is stupid kill percentage. <laughs> but with this, uh, ooh, Samus, really heavy despite being such a slow, floaty character. Yeah. Like, is... slow aerially. But Charizard's down throw is still one of the better kill throws in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Samus is a character who actually has really fast moves. Like, almost everything she has comes out in, like, yeah. under 10 frames. Like, I think it's her forward smash in, like, 9 frames. So it's faster yeah. than human reaction time. However, they have a lot of end lag. Yeah. So as long as you're doing the right moves, she can be absolutely crazy and just always win out. It's sort of like Luigi if Luigi had end lag. Oh, headshot. With that, Ninetales will take game one. Yeah, uh, with Samus, it seems like uh, Samus has a really good uh, ground game, like meaning, like, okay, I can be on the offensive if I want to, but I can go on the defensive because missiles and charge shot. Yeah, um, uh, she's zero. definitely, zero. She's definitely a zoning type character, and she also has the ability to be like, you have to approach me, because otherwise I'm getting this charge shot, and this charge shot will wreck you. Yeah, huh? since it can kill, like, one, one, one Or somewhere even, can, how, like, how low can it kill? Uh, I honestly have no idea. Oh, looks like we're seeing another one of the Tails, as he calls them. Versus... Uh, Nine Tails is looking to have probably around nine characters. But it's like not a bad idea. This time. But it's yep. not a bad idea. It's just hard. It's just the only difficulty I can think of is that it's hard to maintain. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, okay, what do I do with this character between this character and this character? Yeah, like, though, once he gets to the point where he can play all of them reliably, then he can be like, okay, so for this matchup, I want this one. Yeah. And that's really good. Currently, uh, back in the game, uh, Charlie started off with a pretty good with a decent lead of 13 to 0, but then just kind of lost it. Okay. As soon as Julie Puff got in, now he's at 64%. Yeah, I'm, I have no idea how this matchup works, because I know that Mega Man's really good at keeping people out horizontally, and uh, Jigs is really good at not caring about horizontal stuff. Yeah. However, Mega Man also has some really strong no read based kill options, like up tilt. Speaking of really strong <laughs> read based kill options. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man just rolled in, Judith you know, just ripped his red. And there's that. Does not kill as early as rest, but it's also nowhere near as punishable. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if Mega Man's up air would be, like, really, really good against Jigs. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Jigs is light, but... 
that? How about that? Never mind. <laughs> I know so far this matchup seems to be slightly one sided, but I don't entirely know. Though I'm not sure if it's actually the matchup is one sided or if it's just because Ninetales got that read. Yeah. It's like that read just saved Ninetales in a huge beat. Yeah. Oh! And that well, disjointed up smash will eat Ninetales down air. Oh, Almost dead because the uh, uh, leaf shield just in time. Yeah. If any uh, less, he probably yeah. might have died. Why is he using leaf shield? Uh, Dix doesn't really have any projectiles or anything, so if you have the leaf shield up, then Dix has to uh, attack the through it, and then if you get like a grab or something on her, it does a bunch of extra damage. So, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure how good it is because it lasts for a short time and is pretty laggy. But depending on whether or not Jigs can actually out disjoin it very well, then it could be very good. Yeah. <laughs> so far, uh, Ninetales is still an advantage with a decent percentage of. Though, excluding uh, rest, that's gonna kill. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So out excluding rest, kill percents are pretty even. Yeah. Good. But if you miss rest, uh, then, then you're screwed. things go bad for you. Yeah. yeah. Then you're screwed because you're a lot character in the game. Versus a pretty powerful one. Uh, attack. Yeah, Mega Man has some pretty strong attacks, for sure. Although slow and laggy, uh, and laggy they are, they're still good. Yeah, they generally have fast startup. Really Except for Trap Shot. Yeah. Like if you want to kill someone with it. Yeah. And uh, Ninetales is going to go. Yep, finally breaking out his main. Yep, we are going to set. Make it, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No this? more playing around. It's like, I need to take this. Yeah, and Chari cannot submit, can he? Uh, I don't know. Because so winner, uh, winner switches. Yeah, winner locks in their character first. Yeah, so Charlie has to stay. Yeah, though Charlie can switch his custom loadout. He gets one, three, one, one. Let's give it a hand. Pikachu's. Hey, guys. Right. So, so like Charlie right. has. Decent. I don't know how good it is, right. though. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah. And we'll see if it has any anti Rosalina and Luma. I would assume that the large explosion can kill Luma or something like that, and that's why I was picking it. Yeah. Oh, and Omega Stage, that's kind of an interesting choice against a character like Mega Man, since the details did select the stage. Yeah. But... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, and like that, Luma is out already. Yeah, because he kicked in. Yeah, that down tilt is super good. It's a, it's basically a dash attack replacement. Yeah. Mega Man's a very unstandard character. Yeah, he. I find him, once I tried him out of the 3DS, he was really weird. Yeah, for sure. And that kind of just killed him for me. He was like, oh, uh, I'm not going to play you. Mm. He's, he's the type of character who you can either play him or you can play other characters, but I feel like switching between him and most characters would not go very well. Looks like Hyper Bomb, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but the trajectory that it follows is pretty neat. Yeah, and he can use it as a shield for himself if he <laughs> It's almost like a weaker Yoshi egg, it seems like. Yeah. Such as a... Uh, oh, yeah. He, he... Yeah. He fell. He fell. That's, hey, that is a dead Luma. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that was a good thing. Ninetales, sitting pretty at like 35%. Yeah. Still super cool. He gravitational pulled the bomb, which made him the owner of it, so when Mega yeah. Man ran up and grabbed him, he got blown up by it. That was really smart. Yeah. And it gave him a little extra time to wait for Luma to respawn. Good cheap. Ooh, Chari going for the hard read up tilt, but gets crossed up by Ninetales. Yeah. This is really bad for Charlie. Extremely so, but he manages to make it back. Uh, Mega Man has a, a really good vertical recovery, but a fairly weak or why did Luma not go flying there? I don't weak, understand this character. No, it was a weak attack, like weak charge shot. Sheik's bear can send it flying, so... And I know that what Mega is Man is even uncharged. And if so, then what is that thing made of? I have no idea. That <laughs> thing is made of being dead right now. It does not like that down smash. 
So, is this going to be the end? Yes. Uh, he got some chip damage right there at the end. Wasn't going down without a fight, but he was still losing the star. Alright, and with that, it looks like we'll be getting into top 8 really soon. Yep. <laughs>